About 1.2 million species of animals are currently known to science. Scientists estimate there are actually 8.7 million species in existence right now. Such an astounding amount of variation is bound to result in some truly strange-looking animals and implies that we have barely scratched the surface of the biodiversity of our planet. Flatfish present a fascinating case study in evolutionary adaptation. They exhibit a unique morphology, with bodies flattened laterally to seamlessly blend into the ocean floor. The most unique feature of these animals is the asymmetry of their bodies. A great example of this is the fact that both eyes of flatfish are located on the side of the body facing upwards, giving it a truly distinctive appearance. This left scientists with a baffling question as to how such a creature evolved over time. A piece of the puzzle was solved with the discovery of a 50 million year old fossilized ancestor of the flatfish, known as Amphistium. The ancestral fish displayed signs of a transitional fossil where one of its eyes was located near the top of the head, indicating an intermediate step in the migration of the eye to the other side of the head. Therefore, this was a gradual transition that occurred over millions of years of evolution and not overnight. The Argonaut, also known as the paper nautilus due to its resemblance to that enigmatic nautilus, is actually a type of octopus. Its unique appearance comes from the paper-thin structure that encases the body of the Argonaut. This structure is exclusively produced by the females through secretions of calcium carbonate material from their specialized tentacles. Unlike a nautilus shell, the paper-thin case of the Argonaut does not contain gas-filled chambers inside. Instead, it serves as a protective shelter for developing embryos and a means of buoyancy control for the female, which it achieves by trapping air from the surface inside the paper case. Rays are an intriguing group of cartilaginous fish known for the venomous barb present in some species as a defense mechanism. The electric ray, however, uses a far stranger weapon that is used not just for defense but for catching prey as well. Specialized organs known as electrocytes, located within the body, generate electrical impulses. These are stacked in columns and act like a set of batteries. By rapidly discharging these impulses, the electric ray can deliver a potent shock ranging from 8 to 220 volts to potential threats or prey, incapacitating them and providing an effective means of defense or predation. This animal is a cousin of the giraffe. The okapi and the giraffe are the only living members of the family giraffidae. Their appearance is considerably different from giraffes, standing at only 1.5 meters tall and coated with a chocolate reddish brown color with zebra-like stripes on their legs. However, their common ancestry is visible around the cranial region. Like giraffes, the head of the okapi is adorned with horn-like structures known as ossicones, although this feature is only present in the males. Another similarity is their long black tongue, used for plucking leaves from vegetation and for grooming. Due to their preference for dense forest habitats, the okapi also goes by the name forest giraffe. As scientists keep prying open the mysteries of nature, more fascinating specimens are bound to emerge from the animal kingdom. Stay tuned as we search for more incredible inhabitants of the natural world in the next part.